Hi, my name is Wiley Sharp with Catamaran Central, and today we're going to do a video walkthrough on board Dream Chaser. She's a 2018 Lagoon 450F located here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Before we go into anything though, I'm going to address the elephant in the room, saving you guys time from having to leave a comment down below. The bulkheads have been inspected. There is no deflection, deformation, cracking, splinting, splitting, any of that sort of stuff. They've been inspected. The reinforcement kit is on board the boat and can be installed. It just needs to be scheduled. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about Dream Chaser. So she's a 2018 Lagoon 450F. She's a four cabin, four head layout. She was originally used in bare boat charter with TMM, although that was very short lived. The original owners pulled her out of charter uh, very, very early on to go cruising. Uh, partially, I think, driven by the pandemic. The current owners that bought the boat are a family that decided to take a sabbatical, go cruising, and as such, they set the boat up for the way that they would like to go cruising. So I'm gonna have the full spec sheet in the description down below. Uh, a couple of things that I really like about the boat is, in general, the interior, I think, is in fantastic shape. It does not look like a charter boat. There's no real big evidence signs of wear and tear. Um, as far as I could see. I mean, I'm very happy with the overall interior condition of the boat. The other thing I really like about the boat as well, too, is the, the um, aftermarket installed hardtop. Uh, the Lagoon 450 has always been one of my favorite boats. I've got thousands of miles sailing them offshore, and I'm a huge fan of the 450, but that flybridge space is exponentially better when you've got a hard top over it. So that's the other thing that I really like about this boat. But that's enough of me rambling on about Dream Chaser. Let's go ahead and jump aboard and take a look. Okay, we're gonna make our way along the starboard weather deck and I'll point out we have a couple of grab rails as well as all the hatches are flush mounted with the exception of the four peak hatches which um, are being utilized as storage. Now the first thing you'll see up here is the trampolines have been replaced with a vinyl coated trampoline. Um, kind of like what you normally find on leopards and whatnot, which I find far more comfortable than the um, than the netting type type of trampoline. Uh, so also up here on the bow, you'll see they put a large mantis anchor, giving the boat really really good holding with a quick anchor windlass as well as a chain locker down below, and you'll see the chains in very good condition. There are cushions for the forward cockpit, although they're stored away right now. The slip is kind of, I'll give you a quick pan of, but we're, we're almost in like a jungle here, even though we're right on Fort Lauderdale. And uh, the tree's been pretty relentless, which is fairly annoying. Anyways, um, so we've got the Mantis, all the sail control lines lead back to the helm, and all the winches are powered here on the boat. Um, here in this uh, starboard most lazarette, we've got the Onan generator, uh, some storage and water tanks, as well as additional storage there on the port side. Making our way back around here to the port weather deck. Just do kind of a quick pano here. But you'll see we've got um, sail bag, just a traditional main uh, double spreader rig. Everything leads back to the cockpits and all the sail control lines uh, lead to electric winches. You'll see grab rails here continuing aft. And probably my favorite feature on the boat is the uh, aftermarket hardtop, which for me, the Lagoon 450 Fly, it's one of my favorite boats, particularly when it's got the um, aftermarket hardtop. So we're gonna kind of come up here a few steps, brings us up to the flybridge, where like I mentioned, all four winches up here are powered winches. Boat's also got a full B&G electronics package. Uh, no radar, so but you could easily integrate radar into the system, but autopilot, chart plotter, tri-data, wind, etc., etc., um, as well as a quick anchor windless counter and uh, remote. Like I said, all the winches are powered winches. A couple of steps brings us back down to the starboard weather deck. A couple of steps brings us down to the starboard weather deck. A couple more brings us down here to the starboard sugar scoop, where we've got the first of two mechanical spaces housing the upgraded Yanmar engines paired to Volvo SD60 sail drives. Over here on the starboard side, we have the uh, dive style swim ladder, as well as davits, which are going to a manual winch. The davit winch is not electric, uh, but it's not that heavy of a davit. Through here, we've got the second of two mechanical spaces, also housing a Yanmar diesel. Give you guys just kind of a quick pano of the whole cockpit area. 
So over here on the starboard side, we have a uh, large day bed with storage down below. All the way up here on the main bulkhead, we've got um, storage here on the inboard side, refrigerator here on the outboard side. And then over here on the port side along the bulkhead, we've got a trash receptacle, additional storage up top, and then a nice large U-shaped settee. And you can see stored in the cockpit, the Rainman water maker, a Dometic, as well as a Yeti cooler. Let's go ahead and make our way inside Dream Chaser. Okay, making our okay, making our way into the salon. Just give you guys a quick pano, bright, open, and airy, kind of the way you always want your salon in a sailing catamaran. But uh, anyways, we're going to start over here in the port aft portion of the um, salon with the U-shaped galley. Now this is the uh, the F, so they did the 450, and then ultimately they relaunched the 450 as a 450 F, where they rearranged this galley arrangement. And I, for one, like it a lot how it opens up into the space. Not only does it give you more usable counter space, uh, but it also gives you more storage than the original galley layout. So you've got a bank of drawers here on the left side, nice large opening underneath the sink, a dual basin sink, built-in microwave with tons of storage, not just above the galley but also adjacent to that on the inboard, on the inside of the main bulkhead. We'll get back over to that section here in a minute. A three burner Eno cooktop, oven broiler, a refrigerator. We've also got an additional freezer I'll point out here in a moment, as well as a built-in uh, Cuisinart uh, speed cooker slash microwave. So it's a convection oven as well as a microwave oven. Plenty of storage here on the countertops. Starboard, starboard forward facing nav station with a VHF as well as controller for the fusion stereo system. Nice large L-shaped settee with a couple of air conditioning units underneath as well as additional storage. And this table goes high or low. They don't have a filler cushion, but you could very easily have one made. And then over here, starboard aft, we've got the freezer through here. We have a uh, bottle storage through there. Another bank of drawers and then the main electrical panel with the Onan uh, remote start, as well as the Mastervolt um, battery monitor. Now, this is a four cabin, four head boat. So we're gonna make our way down the starboard cabin first, starboard hull first. So this is the first of four ensuite guest staterooms, semi walk around berth. You can see the forward cockpit cushions are stored here out of the elements. And um, the woodwork's all in really good shape for this boat. I mean, it started its life as a uh, boat and charter, um, but then it went private. And, and like so many boats that were originally put into charter during this era, the pandemic really reduced the number of charter weeks. Uh, we've got an ensuite shower. I'm sorry, a separate shower stall in the ensuite head with a large single basin sink, vanity, as well as storage. And then making our way starboard forward, we've got a very similar space up here with a semi walk around berth lots of natural light coming in from the outboard window as well as when you open up the overhead hatch tons of light that'll come in through there we've got storage on the outboard side we also have storage underneath the berth as well as the second of two second of four ensuite heads very comparable in size to what we saw over in the starboard aft cabin now we're gonna make our way across the salon and just do a quick quick peek down below there. Um, since it is a mirror image of what we just saw over here on the ports on the starboard side. So this time we're gonna go forward first. You'll see it's the exact same layout as what we had over on the uh, starboard side. Same same head that we saw over on the starboard forward. And then a slightly different cabin arrangement here on the starboard aft side because the companionway on the port side sorry not starboard side but because the companionway is forward there's actually a longer hallway in this cabin with storage here on the inboard side nice semi walk around berth with tons of natural light and the final of four ensuite heads on board the boat so there you go, that's Dream Chase of the 2018 Lagoon 450F located here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, I'll have the full spec sheet in the description down below. So if you have any questions, leave a comment, shoot me an email. And as always, if you like what we have to say, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day. I'm a slow flower.